In this video we're going to talk about Google Places or Google Maps and how it can affect your business and how it can actually help your business. Now Google Places is a free service set up by Google to actually locate your business, your local business on their map system and it also gives you like a one page website which is a really good tool for hopefully attracting new business. To give an example if I type in wedding photographer Weymouth you can see here the first eight or so results all have a place page. You can see on the right here place page place page place page and the ones at the bottom don't have it and they obviously don't stand out as much the first thing that really stands out when you look at someone's place page is that you get allocated a letter and a marker on the map on the right here now that shows the bride where you're based so it's obviously good for them to to book you for the wedding if it's going to be in the local area so they can either click on the the letter or they can click on the place page to actually see your page but before we do that you can actually see here they're immediately given a phone number so before they even go into your website or into your place page they've got a telephone number that they can call directly from the listings and that's a really handy thing to have so let's have a quick look at the place page to see what kind of information you have on there now the first thing the bride's going to see on here and it's important that you do this is to upload photos so make your photos that you upload we'll talk about these in a sec the best you can because that's the first thing their eyes will go to is the photo now what you get on here on this place page is obviously your name, your address, your contact telephone numbers and your a link to your website. Now that's important, it's obviously good for SEO, it creates a link from your place page into your website which can only help with search engine optimization. They can also get directions to your house because you've got the map here, a more detailed map now on your place page of exactly where you're located and it gives you the categories of what you actually do, our wedding photographer and photographer and what you've got here is a rating. Now every time a, a client of yours goes to your place page they have the ability to actually rate your service and also give you a review and obviously the more you get the better it is for your business because when someone does a search for a photographer in your area the more orange five stars they can see with good reviews and good ratings the better for your business. Underneath that you can actually put in your own description of what you're doing and what your business does and what you offer but keep it real no spamming and no keyword stuffing but we'll talk about that in a sec then you've got your details, the area served, you can obviously have within 10 miles, 30 miles, 50 miles, 100 miles but obviously you have you can change that as your business progresses or you can just keep it local, it doesn't really matter put in your email address, uh, you've got other things that you do, other websites you can put in, they're not links but they will actually just let the client know any other sites that you have actually got and what you can actually um, do and what other services you may have and you can also explain how your payment is accepted whether it's cash, check, postal order or PayPal and then underneath that, let's have a look at the more details actually, what else I've got. If you click on more details, it obviously brings that up in a slightly better to read or easier to read format. Let's just go back to the overview. Below that you've got the photos. Now you can upload 10 images and we'll cover this in a second when we go through how to actually set up a place page. But upload your 10 best photos and you're also allowed to set up 5 videos. Now it's obviously good as a photographer to upload maybe an Animoto video or a different kind of slideshow to obviously show off as much of your work as possible and make it as diverse as possible as well and obviously that's it for your place page but it's a very good thing to have obviously here you've got a picture of your house as well so they can actually if they're going to come and visit you they can actually see exactly where you are and, and check out the road and where you live it's all very cool it's all very good for your business and obviously it's a good marketing strategy to have so if you haven't got this already I totally recommend you get yourself a place page for your business now I think you can only have one place page per business per either IP address or location so make sure it's your main business that you put on your place page for your Google account. Now if you haven't got a Google account you need to set one up so go to Google and just set up sign up set up a new Google account once you've got that you're given a, an email address and it's normally a Gmail account or a Google Mail account but once you've got that you then go to settings Google account settings and that will bring up your main Google home page. Now this is a new account I've set up for all things photography so I haven't got a lot on it at the moment all I've got is place page YouTube and a couple of other bits if I was to set up an AdSense account or an AdWords account they would flip up here to this section and the more you do with Google the more will appear here now at the moment I've got a Google Places kind of set up but if you don't see this Google Places link here you'll see one for Maps so go to Google Maps and that's the same thing so once you click on that Google Places you're taken to this home page for the the Google Place account and obviously they're just giving you a few examples of why it's good to have the place account you can be found on the internet you can stand out and engage with your customers with photos and offers and things like that 
and also give insights about your listing to uh, make smarter business decisions. It means that obviously if, if a client's coming to your site and they're looking and doing a search for a local business, if you've got a place page with some good reviews and some good star ratings, then it's going to stand out a lot more and they're more likely to click through to your website or your place page. Now once you've done that, once you've got to here, you click list your business and you're presented with the first one. Obviously it's the country you're in, so we're in the United Kingdom and then you put in your phone number, I'll just put in mine here and click find business information. Sometimes it will find your business, other times it won't depending on what you've um, set up in the past. Now one thing I will say here, when you're filling out this information a really important point to remember is that Google search everything on the internet to do with your business. So whenever you make listings for your business, whether it's on directories or other agencies or you're doing maybe articles, things like that, wherever you put your business, keep the information as uniform as possible. Just keep it keep it real, keep the same details, don't try and spam any of it because if you've got different phone numbers for the same business all over the internet, Google will find out and it could harm your your account with Google. It could harm your place page and your your business listing and things like that. So make sure that you, you keep a certain amount of consistency whenever you're uploading your telephone numbers and addresses and your business names and things like that. So here we are, we're going to set up a Google Place now. First of all, you've got the country already set up. Company organization. Now, if you're a sole trader like myself, um, or actually I'm a limited company, but as my business, my photography business, I would actually put Nick Stubbs Photography or Nick Stubbs Wedding Photography and I suggest you do the same. If you're a limited company then put your limited company name in there. Don't spam this part of the business, don't spam any of it. Don't put in something like Cheap Wedding Photographer Weymouth because they'll pick up on it and it could really harm your, your account with Google so don't do that. Just put in your business name or your company name or your personal name there and then fill in your address, your town, postcode and again keep all the details the same and it's a good thing to do. If you've moved house recently, obviously go through everywhere that you've listed your business on the internet and change your address and keep it updated at all times. Then you've got your phone number, put in your email address and put your business email address in and again keep it the same as what you've put on the internet for other businesses and other directories and things like that. Don't again put in your personal email address here unless it is one you use for your business. Then put in your website and keep the HTTP section in as well and that's obviously creates a link from your place page to your website and it's obviously good for SEO but it's also good for the client to to link straight through from your place page to your website again here if you don't sorry if you don't have a website just click I don't have a website and then obviously when you do create a website later on you can untick that but it's good because it shows that if you don't have a website for your business at the moment a place page will suffice for now it's, you can still have photos and videos and business details on there without actually building yourself a website so it's a really good marketing strategy for the description just do a short description you only get 200 characters so just again keep it real do a short description about the the core elements of your business like wedding photographer in Weymouth covering the surrounding areas of uh, Dorchester, Southampton, or you can use the counties of Devon and Somerset. Just put in a short description with some keywords in there, but don't keyword stuff. Don't kind of spam this box. Just keep it real. Keep a good description of your business and what you're offering. And then for the category, as you type, I think if you were to type, start typing photographer, it brings up related categories. So you can obviously put in photographer there. You can add another category and type photographer again and put in wedding photographer. Um, and only put in categories that you actually do. Don't again spam it here and put in all sorts of things hoping to be found for them because you won't be and, and again it could harm your account. So just if you're a wedding photographer just keep it to those two, photographer and wedding photographer. The next section, service areas and location settings. Does your business provide services such as delivery or home repair to locations in a certain area? Now I would actually probably tick, let's have a look, if we tick no that means all customers must come to your location so if you've got a studio they're going to come to you all the time for a wedding you really want to click yes because you serve customers at their locations you're going to go maybe local you're going to go national maybe even international so you really want to to click this one and then say distance from one location you can service an area within however many miles you want to do so it could be a hundred miles it could be fifty miles and obviously when search terms come up for that area for your area Google will restrict it to that, that area so if someone outside of your area is looking for a wedding photography you won't show up so it all depends on how far you want to actually travel for your business and then obviously you can list areas serves if you want you can add different areas different places 
so yeah, I could just put Somerset, Devon, Cornwall, Cornwall, things like that. But really, you just want to keep it as a distance because then you know the radius where you're going to be working from. So I've put 50 miles in. I'd, I'm kind of fed up with travelling now, so I want to keep it fairly local. Hours of operation, I wouldn't really say I prefer not to specify. It's kind of hiding things from people. I, I've put every single day on mine. My operating hours are from, I've actually got from something like 8 till 9 p.m. every day. I'm obviously open to phone calls at any time. With a wedding photography business, obviously the more work you get, the better. And you, you don't really want to be restricting times when people can call you. Obviously, it's entirely up to you. But I've also unticked Saturday and Sunday as well. I'm willing to take inquiries. And obviously, we work at weekends being wedding photographers. So really, you want to keep it as open as possible so that clients can contact you at any time. OK, let's have a look down here. Payment options. Obviously, you accept cash. Everyone accepts cash. Then you can say you can receive money from checks or any debit cards, credit cards if you've got that facility and obviously PayPal is a good one these days, obviously they have charges but it's still a very good online system for people to pay you and it's instant as well and you can transfer it straight to your bank so it's worth setting up a PayPal account and accepting that obviously the more things you accept the more likely you are to capture more business as well. Photos again definitely upload photos, we're wedding photographers so obviously a wedding photography place page without photos would look really poor so pick your 10 best photos that you've got make them quite diverse so have one of the bride getting ready have one of the the, the ceremony one of after ceremony maybe a couple of the portraits and obviously upload those but keep them your absolute best photos and follow their submission guidelines to make sure they're the right size and dimensions and then just upload those 10 there or you can add them from the web so you can obviously link to them from wherever you've got them on the internet you can also upload five videos now as I said before these these are obviously good if you want to if you do a bit of videoing as well at weddings then you can obviously upload a sample reel of your footage or you can upload five slideshows using something like Animoto or Photodex the, the presenters the the professional version and you can upload your own slideshows again keep it quite diverse show different weddings show different photos different styles to obviously give yourself as much exposure as possible to, to kind of try and attract the people to your business Additional details, if you have any things you want to put in there, obviously if you're a guest house or something you would put parking available, yes, or free. But if you travel or if you do certain things, if you include a wedding album as part of the package, you could put album included and then have yes, uh, anything like that. So anything you can think of, you can add in there. Again, it's just a good way of marketing and promoting certain things and certain products you have for your business. Okay, so once you've done all of that, you press submit and I'm not going to go through it here because I haven't added all my details but what will happen then is Google need to verify your listing and they can do that in one of two ways sometimes you're asked for uh, to, to be actually accept a phone call and you will receive a phone call and you would give a code or they would give you a code to actually add to your website and then once you add that code your listing is verified more often than not they will send you a postcard and it takes about two weeks for the postcard to get to you when you get it I think it's got a four digit number in it and you then go back into your place page and add that four digit number your place page is then verified and you will have a tick there and it will say owner verified listing and then your place page will be added to the internet and it will be available for search and for search terms and things like that so when a bride looks your place page will then appear on there and you can start asking clients and past clients to actually add their own reviews and ratings to your business don't spam it again don't get 100 ratings in one day because Google will know that you've done that add them over time keep it growing over time and obviously the better you do and the more uniform your listing is and the more consistent your business details are all over the internet the better you will do in the search terms so if you haven't got a place page already I hope this helps I hope it helps you to set up your own account and I totally recommend you do it as soon as possible because obviously other photographers in your area will be doing the same if they haven't done already now set that up as soon as possible and if it's available for Bing and Yahoo as well I will actually add a video for that later on as well but get this account set up as soon as you can